Ambition is the first step to success. The second step is to take action. I'll be honest with you, what you feel right now is a common issue, or it's a common thing that most people feel. You're ambitious, you have goals, you have dreams, whatever it is, but you're not actually pursuing them. So after I graduated from college, right, it was like end of 2021, beginning of 2022, somewhere around there, right? I graduated from college, I was looking for a job, whatever, but I also wanted to start my own YouTube channel on the side, you know, just to start my own business and entrepreneurship and everything like that. But I wanted to do YouTube as well. And I remember just thinking about it, planning everything, planning everything, like having this grand idea and all these things. I was watching different videos and learning and, you know, I was seeing other people in the space, you know, doing well. And the thing is, but back then, a lot of the videos were just like these pretty looking videos. What I mean by that is that I don't feel like people were super like authentic. I think it was just more like the video has to look good. I didn't really learn anything from those videos. I was like, let me just make my own channel and stuff. And I waited and waited and waited. I was like, I learned so much, you know, I have so much to say, whatever, but I just kept on waiting. And it wasn't until 2023 and I finally was like, all right, let me just take action. Let me do it. So I waited so long before actually taking action. When I could have taken action way earlier, perhaps yielded quicker results. It's easy to just sit around procrastinate. A lot of it probably came from a fear of failure, fear of judgment, fear of not being good enough. So it's easy to just say laziness, right? To justify everything as laziness. But let's take a second to break it down. What is the root cause for why you're not actually taking action? Why I wasn't taking action? Fear of failure. What if I try and I don't make it? What if I put myself out there and make videos and, you know, and people don't like it, right? All these fear of failure to procrastination, which is sort of like laziness, but it's about just putting it off right you're like eh, i'll do it i'll do it tomorrow maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll keep i'll keep planning i'll keep researching i'll keep making sure i get the right the right content i want to make sure everything is proper and right and it's all bullshit bro you think every single video i've made is perfect no but i know that it doesn't need to be perfect as long as i'm consistent and i keep getting better each single video and i'm consistently doing it all the time i never miss a week maybe once i'll get a lucky week but i'm not looking for that lucky week i'm just trying to be consistent every single week it doesn't need to be perfect every week but i'm still learning i still get better Better each and every video the point each each week i'm trying to get better and better and better and while i stay consistent another thing is just a lack of direction what do i mean by this is that you may know like what it is that you want to do but you don't know how to start or you know you don't even want to put in the time to re do the research right instead of the opposite of over researching you're just not doing the research you don't know how to do it you don't know how to start you don't know what's the first step or you're not even willing to take the first step you know these these are a few of the root causes for why you're not you have ambitions you have goals but you're not doing anything about it i remember as a kid i used to lay on my bed and just toss the basketball up in the air and have these dreams of you know six nba championships or many M nba finals mvps regular season mvps all these accolades and awards and achievements and everything and i actually put in the work to try to you know i trained and everything but i didn't really push myself to the point where i was like let me get this like I want this badly. So there's a part of you that you may want it badly, but how bad do you really want it? Because if you really want it, you'll do whatever it takes. You'll do whatever it takes, no matter what. And if you really don't want it, and what's going to stop you? Maybe just one little thing. One little thing is going to stop you. But when you really want it, there's nothing on this planet that's going to stop you from continuously keep going. There's going to be times where you feel like giving up. There's going to be times where you're like, ah, is this even worth it? But you'll keep going now that we've broken that down what can you actually do about it what can you okay you're ambitious but you're still you know you're you're a little you're lazy with it you're like ah, i just want to do it let me let me tell you this there's a reason why people look up stuff like how to get six pack easy how to how to get you know in shape in 30 days or how to make money fast we live in a society now we live in a world where people want things fast and easy and quick and all these anything that's worthwhile it's not going to be quick easy and fast anything that's worthwhile it's not going to be quick easy and fast i said that twice to make sure that you understand this if you want to achieve something great you need to put in the time and the effort and be patient and actually stay consistent disciplined and dedicated to the path so get that out of your head that you need some quick and easy path quick and easy way to get whatever it is that you want there's no shortcuts zero shortcuts none so here's what we're gonna do you're gonna break down the steps into the smallest steps possible but are still manageable enough for you to be like huh i achieved something i did something good i did it i so say you want to go to the gym all right let's break that down to the smallest steps possible can you at least wake up in the morning today and get ready for the day can you at least do that right, if you can do that good can you do it tomorrow good can you do it in good can you get inside your car and drive to the gym can you at least drive there and then you keep breaking it down maybe you won't work out today but can you at least go buy the membership today maybe you can't maybe you can't okay fine can you do it the next day break it down to the smallest steps possible you get the membership whatever right you go to the gym finally you, you know maybe you're not doing all the exercise
exercises, but can you at least do one exercise in the gym? Okay, do one. Maybe the next time you come back, you do two. You're like, oh, I feel it. And you come back. You got to break it down to the smallest steps possible. This goes for anything. If you just have this huge grand thing, like you're thinking like, oh, I just, I need to get a six pack, huge biceps, wide fucking back and everything. And you haven't even started. You're going to feel overwhelmed. You need to break it down first, right? Like, can you at least do one push up today? Can you at least do 10 push ups? Then 20, 30, 50, whatever it is. I'm just giving you a, a general idea of what I mean by breaking it down to smaller steps, but you can use this for any sphere of life, right? Just break it down into smaller, manageable steps for you to take. I want you to also create a routine. So have a routine for you in your life, right? When you wake up in the morning, you should know exactly what you're going to do. Start off the day knowing exactly what you're going to do and everything else will follow. You don't need to be in this perfect, Not and not every day is going to be perfect as well. There'll be some days where some things show up, some things happen and it's not going to be perfect but what's important is that you're making progress what's important is that you're still on the journey you need to stick to the journey no matter what you know as humans we're not perfect and no matter what you do you will never reach perfection but in your brain you should always still be striving towards a sort of perfection i guess i remember a quote from bleach back when in the days when i used to watch that there was a captain who said something like there was perfection in our world like imagination would cease to exist or something something like that and it's sort of true if we were able to actually get perfection in each area imagine how much like as a human i don't think you would be able to imagine anymore and imagination is one of the biggest things that separate humans from like animals right being able to imagine and think for the future and also like reason and all that. there's more stuff but imagination is just one aspect right so always be striving for progress you know stop thinking about perfection just strive for progress bro and i want you to also visualize and see yourself in a successful state see yourself achieving those goals goals that you have for yourself now when i say visualize your success i don't mean just sit around just you know laying on your bed just think like just see it and then do something about it and as i said there's small manageable tasks that you, sh you should be doing but another thing is always celebrate the small wins you know maybe you get make your first ten dollars or you're able to lift a specific amount of weight or perhaps you do this or you know whatever it is celebrate the small win and always be grateful for the small wins be grateful because gratitude is so powerful bro and you feel so much better about yourself you stop taking shit for granted so powerful and i know you have it within you because you're watching this you know you're ambitious is your goal striving which i love i love that because it's now they're kind of like beating that ambitious part of people out right with all these social media stuff and addictions and all it's so widely accessible they want you to stay weak they want you to just be an employee and just live life like it, how what they tell you to do you have that slave mind mentality this is what they want but you still have that ambition within you you still have that something burning within you that is telling you to keep going even though you feel like you're lazy or whatever at least you have some ambition with inside you now is you gotta take that and put it into action you have the fire within you but you gotta utilize that fire to actually do something if i had all the tools that are around me to make a fire but i still haven't made the fire then what the fuck am i supposed to do find a way to make the fire and you have all the tools right now for your success, right? You have the resources, you have, you know, different courses and books and different things that you could buy to help you and invest in yourself. You have the tools, but you're just sitting around doing nothing. So you're going to stay the same. You're not going to do anything. You have to invest in yourself and actually bet on yourself and do something about it. Take a risk for yourself, for your family and your community, bro. You got to be that man. Being lazy is a luxury to have. It really is a luxury to say that you're just, you're lazy in life. So it's like, eh, whatever. I don't have to do that. That's a luxury to have. You have shit to do. You have duties that need to be done. You have people that you need to take care of. Eventually in your life, you will have this. So to say that you're lazy is a luxury to have. You must take action now. All I'm saying is take that first step. And once you take that step, never go back. If you're someone who's interested in also connecting with individuals who are like-minded with you and who value their health, who value their wealth, who value their relationships with other people, join the school community. It's the first link down in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure they share it with the friend is in need make sure that you subscribe for some more content and last but not least never waver from the path